Congressman Chris Street, I've actually manufactured in Indiana, had a great experience there, Evansville. But I'd like to ask you, a lot of us are very concerned, not just with the overreach in the budget on domestic issues, but President Obama is now going to go into another military adventure in Libya. We're already talking to people at Pendleton who've got orders to ship to Libya. So this is a serious issue that's going to be a long process and a big number financially in a country that's stretched. Can you give us your sort of sense on how this is going to work out and what we can do? Well, we'll be having hearings on Wednesday on the House Foreign Affairs Committee. I've been a member of the Foreign Affairs Committee for a number of Congresses. And I've chaired the Middle East Subcommittee. And I have, all that I've said about the issue in Libya thus far publicly is I'm troubled. The President of the United States sent American personnel and resources into combat without seeking the assent of the Congress or the American people before he did that. And I think that was wrong. Now, I'm not prepared to say that I'm not here to endorse the War Powers Act. I'm not here to say that the President, where there is a vital national interest at work or where there's an imminent threat to the United States of America or our treaty allies, does not have the ability to act as Commander in Chief in our national interest. But it did seem to me that, unless I hear differently, this did not appear to have been such a moment. And given the fact that this President came to power as someone who had opposed the war in Afghanistan and opposed the war in Iraq, both of which were approved on a broad bipartisan basis with authorizations for the use of force that passed the House and the Senate, makes this even more troubling. So I want to take some time. I want to hear about the administration this week. I want to hear what the plan is. And, you know, I may well have been willing to vote in favor of an authorization for the use of force in this case. If it had been clearly laid out what the objective was, clearly laid out what our obligations were, what the extent of the mission was. But, you know, to watch cable television, you know, what began as enforcing a no-fly zone, which I think common sense suggests you'd stop things from flying, it seems like we're about a week into blowing up things on the ground. And before I left the hotel this morning, I heard one retired general on cable television saying, well, obviously we need to begin to send equipment in. And where we send equipment, we usually send people who know how to run it. And so I just think, you know, it's going to be very, very important that Congress take a very careful look at this, that ask very thorough questions. Speaker John Boehner has been in the process of doing that. But I will say clearly, the President of the United States should have come to the Congress and the American people before he sent American military personnel or resources into combat and living. Thank you.